I know Chiggs is in here recording or some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. But I like you. Come on. The truth always comes to light. What's up guys, it's your boy Chick Smooth. So I'm gonna keep this short for you guys because I want you guys to watch this video. Somebody leaked Lotto's reference tracks. It was about 130 songs. And one of those songs was Blake Blake, which is Coyle Ray's song that she has featuring Nicki Minaj. Now Coyle Ray claimed to have written this song herself. Did not mention getting a reference track for it. Did not mention any writers. She actually did a live with Nicki Minaj when the song came out. And here's what happened. Um, now what is your process like? How long, how long did it take you to come up with the hook did you do the hook first or did you just start rapping at the top of the of the ver of the beat and then just got, went into the hook just did the hook first and then the verse i i don't know it depends like when i'm in the studio like whatever vibe i'll get some little drink you know what I'm saying? Little vibes. I'll be with my peoples because. Now that the reference track from Lotto Lee, and it was pretty much word for word what Coyle Ray rapped, proving that she lied to Nicki Minaj and also lied to her fans about writing her own rap. She got on IG Live after being coy, and here's what she said Listen, we know that most rappers, male and female, do not write their own bars, but at least own up to it. Push comments below, scratch my channel, please like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. That what happened to Lotto? I. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. It's fucked up, it's foolish. There's a lot of hard work um, that a lot of people put into the music. Not only the uh, artists, but the producers and, you know, for people to just go and really leak something that's precious to someone, it's just corny. Um, but I'm here to speak for myself and I do wanna give a little education real quick. Um, First of all, Huddy, no letting up, add it. Um, and I'm looking at notes, by the way. I have my notes because I had to really make sure I, you know, make sure I have what I want to say very clear. So, Huddy, no letting up, add it, did it. Um, no more parties. Fucking twinning them. Big Purr involved. I, I My whole album, I mean, every single feature written by me um so i know my pen game is super amazing thank you to all my supporters and um if you will see my studio my recording process because i have a lot going on i have a lot to show y'all i know y'all probably been like what's koi been doing but just don't worry um i have something for you and you'll get to see my recording process and how it works but um I also want to say shout out to some amazing writers like Kane, um, A1, Aaron, Felly, Jazzy, Big A, Taylor, Skis, Chip, Fresh, um, and there's so many more people. But um, yeah, these, these, what you guys need to understand is timeless music is not created like you can't create it by yourself. I mean, you can, cause a lot of people do. But if you look at some of the biggest records in the world, for example, Michael Jackson Thriller, that was written by uh, Rod Temperton. He's a British man, soulful brother. Um, and yeah, it's one of the greatest songs in the world. And again, I am listing icons and I'm educating you guys on something because I feel like this is important and the music industry needs to get a little shift a little bit to understand, you know, music and like real music, timeless music. And you probably all like saying, hey, like, well, not all of y'all, but y'all probably like, oh, whatever. What do you know? But trust me, I'm super talented and you can fucking see, you can check the charts, you can check my numbers, but I know what I'm talking about. Trust me, you will see. Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You, written by Dolly Parton. Big record, one of the biggest records in the world. Again, icon. Um, the Dream, wrote Umbrella, Rihanna, Single Ladies, Beyonce. Um, this does not discredit, oh, and Pooh Bear, another amazing writer, legend. This does not discredit none of these icons and these artists 
talent pen game or what they do mariah carey's online she's playing and she's also another amazing writer um there would be no game without writers there would be no game without rappers now i mean writers now when it comes to rap i also understand that as well but i mean you know i'm, I'm i do melodies i'm melodic i'm not sitting here trying to rap battle nobody i'm not gonna you know you see my double xl freestyle i'm not the best thinker when it comes to freestyles but when it comes to me taking my time and writing the song i'm amazing so i can admit that i'm not like the best freestyle like you know i i feel like i'm i'm a i'm a melodic singer you know but i can rap i am a rapper as well check my songs i'm put that shit in my pen game's crazy but again i'm melodic um i just feel like oh hold on this is a fact so speaking of rap actually we have two amazing um artists we have jay-z and kanye there's actually a clip on youtube you check it out uh kanye gave jay-z a reference for, on lucifer and again that does not discredit jay-z for being the best rapper of all time right like a lot of these songs are created by creators like people are creators it is selfish for me to you think if thug wrote me a song i wouldn't recut it if thug was like yo i wrote this song for you recut this song i'm gonna recut the whole song and i'm gonna do it the best way i can and i'm gonna probably i could change the words it's my song so i could change something if i want to i could keep it like that's just how music is created and y'all need to understand that a lot of y'all ignorant i need to grow up um it's not funny it's not a funny situation i feel like yeah and that's just education and players is dropping on the 30th of november so get ready girls is players to going crazy about to take over on the charts i got every session documented and recorded so again you'll get to see all my sessions in my recording process on how my amazing music is made straight like that and again shout out to all the amazing writers producers and everybody that make a lot of these records come to life period so have a good night